I shouldn't be called exploring with Josh if I wasn't doing these types of videos. Just part of the village people. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> they know, you mean they've just spotted you? <laughs> Chill. Well, well. Hey! Oh! Dude, that kid's dirty. He had dirt all over him. This is like the movie Wrong Turn. He was working in the mines. Yeah. Been down in years. Look at it. Yeah, not many cars, but you know what you know the vibes I'm getting? This is like Resident Evil 4 at the beginning of the game. I don't know if you guys have ever played. I'm just saying. See, look, there's a man on his goat. Where? Right there. Oh, there is. A woman. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it is there's a woman. A woman and a goat. I don't think she's ever seen someone with cameras, ever. But look at this. We're in a legitimate village. She's saying no. Hi. Oh. I don't know. Keep going. Look, 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 the dogs are gone. Hi. We're lost. Down to the lake. We're lost. She's like, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, uh, back around. Yeah. Dead end. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if that's like a warning or because the lake's poisoned and she doesn't want us to go Where's there. Where's them dogs going? Can you see them dogs out there? No. No, no there's the a goat. I see a yeah, dog and a goat. You're good. There's nothing there. there. Alright, so we're gonna take, we're gonna, so we're going back up this road and we're gonna take another road. Now we don't know what she meant by don't come this way. Uh, it could either be her whole land, I don't know. So we're just gonna turn around. We don't want her to call her village friends because her village friends is probably gonna be a lot worse than actual police here. So, we're doing that. What the heck is this? No, what? What the heck is this? Yeah, what is all that? It's just really thick mud just flowing through. It just covered everything. It made it look all gray. So what's dumping in there though? So we just realized now that the mine here is still active and it's most likely up this hill. But they're, whatever they're mining and whatever they're doing Hold is just up, Bucky, spitting out into the water and just contaminating, contaminating everything. This is getting a lot more interesting. Dude, Let's go, boys! There's this pit. I go. We've been literally going through so many no, bumps, no, so many. Oh, you know, no, what? What? This is no filming. That's funny. Oh, they don't want to. They don't want the government. Doesn't want people to probably need to see it or something. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> Yes, the signs that says literally no filming. They don't want people to even see this. Um, it's crazy because, I mean, it is actually pretty insane. We're gonna park this car, we're gonna show you this church. The only thing sticking out now is the church left. But without this car, dude, there's no way you can get here. You need a proper like SUV or Jeep or something to get through these roads. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. Can you believe this? that the only thing standing left is that church. This was a whole village right here. And all you can see left is a church sticking out. It's all still there, just underneath. But good luck scuba diving in that. It's time to get into the history. The history of this place is really upsetting and it's really sad because everything's all about the money. And that's pretty much why this place is all like this in the end, it's all corporate greed. Um, so I'm gonna start by saying that this is the largest mine reserve in all of Romania and it produced over 11,000 tons in its prime. However, from making so much uh, copper and mining, it caused so much toxic waste. All that toxic waste, they had to put it somewhere. They put it here. That's why this is all like this. They literally sacrificed a village of people and told them all to move just so they can put their toxic waste somewhere.
So it all started in 1977 when a dictator decided to use this copper deposit and literally only in a year they began kicking everyone out and just flooded it with people to start working on it. We're going down the hill right now by the way, just watching my step. This is insane. So this is an artificial lake, by the way. I'm reading this now as we're going down. This is this lake was never here. There was no water ever here. That that sludge we see in the beginning, all that like that uh, mud, that's all like some sort of gooey sludge, and that's all contaminated stuff. And also inside this lake right now is cyanide from the extraction process of the copper and mining. So there's so much different toxics inside this water but literally as as they keep going and they keep making more copper they keep spewing more water inside this lake eventually this is even going to get even more bigger this lake is going to keep growing and they're going to keep putting more sludge and toxins into this water it's going to get even worse so by by the way so there was 400 families living in this village at one time when they kicked everyone out the government promised land and money but eventually they said they were going to get rich in the process nothing ever came true they were given small amounts of money and small amounts of land and it was also a hundred kilometers away from this area dan i found why the villagers are mad here why? so the people that still live here are the same people that once lived over here oh, yeah i was reading about they it came by. yeah so those people that we've seen those people actually lived right here no way yeah so that's why they're all like kind of mad or something and they don't want people coming here because they're just really upset about what happened but I know, dude. dude you, that's not like I know, dude. This is just this is just insane. Look at this water. It's all oily and stuff. They say if you went swimming in this water, it'd only take two days to completely erode your body. Really? Yeah. Dude. And I was contemplating getting the rubber dinghy out and getting across to the. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get over this. This is I've never seen anything like this. Out of all our different travels and stuff that we've done, this is one of the unique, unreal things we've done and seen. It is. <sighs> Crazy. Maybe not as good as the car cave. But... Nah, yeah, yeah, car, yeah, car cave was pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> no, we do a lot of crazy things, but we're just doing so much in different areas and so many unique things. If you look down there, you can still see it. That's fresh water being spewed into this lake to keep the toxics and everything moving around and keep going. Or else otherwise it'd just be all sludge. It would just stick. Nothing would ever get flowing. The sludge would just stick to the ground. So you need the water to keep pushing it all in so it can keep spewing everywhere. To be 100% honest, I'm not even surprised. There's so many different things that the government, even the United States and governments in every other country does that's even kind of similar to this in just different ways. We humans are literally destroying our planet. We're ruining our oceans. You know, Fukushima is spewing radiation into their oceans which and is we're eating the fish that's radiation fish and contaminated and I mean there's just so much other things going on global warming and you know what I mean like this is just one of many different things guys so now observing everything in the history that we know the only thing that can happen from here is just get worse eventually the water is gonna rise because they're gonna keep on mining eventually the water could you never know could even hit right here and just be all orange toxic waters because they're gonna keep on going and never stop. I'm not talking bad about Romania. This was during one of their dark times. Also back when they were communist. They're no longer a communist country. And it's just, you know, like I said, like I said in the beginning, all governments, you know, do things like this. It just happens to be that this one maybe is a bit too far because they told people to leave just for greed. But things happen like this everywhere. Anyways, so now that this one's over, we have another place I want to show you guys. This was a cool spot to stop, but there's one place I want to show you that is called Mary Cemetery. We're going to get into that as we get over there. It's about a two and a half hour drive. Might be even more, but it's really unique. It's a unique cemetery that's different that I've never even seen before. Um, the most unique cemetery I've ever seen that was really cool was um, the one in New Orleans. There's like four of them. Lafayette Cemetery, those were really cool and they stick out. But this one's a lot different and very colorful. We're gonna get into that right now. This lake is really big, but we ended up coming to what I think is a real lake, but I don't know why this water is so freaking blue. Guys, the toxic artificial lake's over there and we keep driving on this road, we ended up at this really, really blue lake and I have no idea and I looked online, I don't know why it's this blue. The only thing I can think of is the minerals on the rocks seeped in through there causing this blue of a water I don't know if it's because like I don't think toxics from the waste over there is going to make the water look this like blue 
and I do know from rock minerals it causes water to be that blue and for some reason these houses here are all abandoned as well down here I don't know what's going on here or what they're doing it looks like the heck dude is this a yo I think this is a cemetery yeah look check this out this looks like gravestones dude I don't know where we ended up but this is actually crazy Yeah, sunken village with a cemetery. And I don't even know what this is. Maybe an old monastery was right here. A really small one for the villagers. Yeah, look at this. It is a cemetery. What did we find, boys? This is what happens when you explore in the unknown paths. Hey, here's the date on this one. Look at that. 1920 to 1982. And I guess they're buried here, but... Even well, this one. Four years after the village got evacuated. Yeah, yeah. 1982, someone died. It was right here too. 1922. We're in some old abandoned graveyard. This is... Oh my god, this is crazy. What? What? Whoa. Oh my god. Maybe this is part of the the artificial it. lake, this and it's is. just overflowing. This is it. Look at this, this is. I, th I thought this, dude. It makes sense. I thought this wasn't. I thought this could have been a real lake because of how much water is actually over here. But looking at this, nah. This is this is part of the fake lake. This is the old church. Another old church. I oh, can't believe, dude. I can't believe they didn't relocate the bodies. They just ditched. Yeah, they ditched the bodies. They ditched everything just for the government uh, and, the, and the, the corporations for the greed. But like, this is how you know. It's a fake lake because they just left all the gravestones to here. I'm surprised they haven't floated to the, the surface. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yo, check this out, Bucky. You're late on the news, bro. Come yeah. down here. Now, what's even crazier is the fact that we found this, but like, no website has ever reported any of this. I think we're like, I'm not gonna say we're the first, but I think we're the first to ever document this. That's a hundred percent sure. This area is it's insane. The pictures that we, we just got of here too are completely unreal. Like, jeez, I love exploring. I think these guys must have been important. They had a real big gravestone. A really old uh, stone uh, wheel, I guess, table. This is like so surreal to me, like, Seeing water that blue, but then seeing really, really old gravestones also flooded in that kind of water just makes the pictures just completely different and almost fake. But no, they are real. And here we go. We're walking through the door of the church. Think about it. None of this was flooded before. You would just walk into the graveyard. And I'll say it again. I wouldn't be called exploring with Josh if I didn't explore these types of places. Yo! Yeah, I'm coming up here to see it too! I'm coming up here! Quick, quick! Right there. Wait. Right there. Oh my god, you're right! Right! Okay. This whole plate, we're on, we're on a massive gravestone! This this whole thing is just full of grave gravestones! And crosses! Yeah, we're on an underwater graveyard! Like, we literally made a proper discovery right now, an underwater graveyard, and we found it. Like, what? I mean, we discovered in, you know, so many things, but it's just crazy and cool when we, when we were, like, the first to find something. That's when it's like, oh, like a world first, boom, we found it. <sighs> Exploring crew for life, rise above. For this right here, world first, we found it first. This is how we do it. This is how we do it, boys. You know what I mean? Other people, they, they, they see our videos and they always rush to, the, rush to the place and they film right after us. But we are the first and we put all the work in and go super hard to get through this, to find these new places to keep filming. That's how we do it. 
And I'll keep saying over and over again, we don't gotta take Ouija boards. We don't gotta take and make ghost videos. We don't have to do any of that. We don't need to do that to get views. We don't need to hype anything up. We are just freaking stay true to the game, true to the exploring crew, and just freaking march on and keep filming and doing what we love to do. All right, explorers, we're getting out of here now. We're gonna end today's video right here. Um, it's getting late, and like I said, driving through here, the, the, the villagers, I'm not saying they're weird or anything like that, but they give us these really mean looks, and out here, anything could happen. I swear to God, they would, they could just kill us out of here, and, and we'll never be seen again. We'll never even, no one would find us, literally. No one would ever find us here. So we don't wanna test our waters anymore. We made a world's first discovery, so we're all gonna get out of here. Make sure you subscribe to Exploring with Fighters, Exploring with Bucky, and Exploring with Cody. That's it. how we freaking do day, it, every boys. Day. Every day, all day. Yeah. <laughs>